Hello, and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. In today's episode, we're going to talk about things that you can make from silverware. That means jewelry, mainly some jewelry things. To get started, you're going to need you a couple of things. Some fork or some spoons. That's my spoon box. Look at that. Oh, kind of a spoon. Here goes some of the things right here that I made. This is called a key finder. Do y'all know how this right here works? Let's just say that key is very valuable. And maybe I'm in a situation. Somebody says, I need that key. And I say, I got it. How can we do that? You see, that's how it works like that. It clips to your pocket, to your inside of your purse, wherever. This lets you know, hey, there's a key attached to this. Y'all look in here, see what y'all like. We got a smooth pattern, like that, plain smooth. Then we got some of the more detailed. That kind of neat. That had uh, been engraved with somebody initial. Hey, it's probably stand for Alexander. You might notice that I got a nice little curvature to this. And I do that with the uh, ring bending tool that I show y'all previously in a video. And it's nice because it allows you to grab that and just pull the key out from your pocket, your purse, wherever that you might be having the key. But you don't have to do a fancy curve like that. You could just take you like this and just bend it on around like so. Oh, and get your fingers stuck up in it. But anyway, you know, and you can hammer this in. Let's see what we can do real quick with this. All right, and essentially you got you a, a, a key finder right there. Probably a good idea to drill a hole first. Snap. Let's rewind that. One thing I like to do is uh, sometimes your drill bit can travel. It might start here, and by the time you go to drill, it might go travel a little bit. I like to go ahead and establish exactly where I want my, uh, the hole to be. That little indention like that will keep the drill bit from traveling too much. I got a little dewalk. You know, you could just use a hand drill too, but uh, I mean, a press gonna make it a little easier, but hey, whatever that you got, If you need more secure, snug fit like that, so it don't slide out from your pocket or your purse, then you just take like this. And you just kind of do this with it. And then all you need is your little key ring like this and a little jump ring to go in the middle. And that'll complete it. Let's do that. And then while you're going with it, just go ahead and knock out two, three more of them. And you got you some gifts covered. Uh, occasionally would make me some spoon rings. And a question I get all the time asked is, Craftman, what do you do with the rest of the spoon? Right there. The best thing probably that I could think of that you can do with these is, uh, well, you could probably make you a fishing lure with it. Uh, that gets the fish attention right there. That's shiny, shiny in the water like that. Other thing that you can do is make a necklace pendant. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. That's a very interesting, unique looking spoon like that. I thought that with this, we would go ahead and try to hammer it down without a needle in it. I think it'll work just fine.
And there we go. So what you can put on it is uh, all kinds of different things. You could put like a little nail up on it. We could kind of make it look like a leaf. I like leaves and things like that. We could take these cut nails and do like a, uh. And by the way, this is called a box cut nail. Sometimes they call square head nail. You can get you some uh, little, uh, little thing like this. Look at these. You could uh, hammer you some letters into it. See, they got these letter sets like this. Basically, you just take and put your piece like this and uh, probably you need to put some tape or either uh, paper line you out where you want the initials to go and then uh, get the initials in the right order and you would just tap them. Bow. The more I look at it, the more I think I'm going to do the, uh, that leaf thing I was talking about and kind of have one come down and one kind of come off like that. I don't know. It probably don't make sense right now. You can take and put you some, uh, get you this a piece of copper right here. You can uh, you can solder that onto it. I showed y'all in a previous video how that you can do uh, soldering. Remember to do soldering. All you need is some uh, some flux, some silver, and a torch, and uh, you get to go on that. This is just a metal canvas. You can put anything that you might would like onto it. Uh, you even could etch into it if it's stainless steel. You can etch right up into it. Uh, people like gears and stuff. That's probably a bit too thick though. I don't know. A brass looking little apple. Got some little uh, old blade looking things, but I don't know. That looks kind of scary to me. Maybe your friend's last name is uh, Three Nails. That's too big for it. Never mind. That's kind of neat looking. That's kind of neat. I don't know. Y'all got to tell me what y'all think about this now. We got to do something. It's getting me stressed out right now. Yeah, something like that. Since I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, I got me a cut nail and bent it to question mark. Maybe you got a friend that's confused and you can get this to him as a gift. This right here is uh, titanium. You buy these titanium strips and you can shape it into any kind of shape that you would like. I just got me a little piece of nylon like this and stick it on here and that'll kind of help protect some of the uh, surface. I like to bend my little forward a little bit first and then go back with it. Oh, now we're about to make something out of this fork right here. Start the bend, I just do me a regular piece of pipe right here.
You can bend it with pliers, but I kind of got spoiled using this bending jig right here. Make it a little easier. Oh, man. I like to make them come all the way back around like that so that uh so it don't get hooked on things at least chance it's gonna get hooked on somebody's shirt or something like that you could bend that fork tie like this right here and make that trunk bend like that and uh that's gonna be the easy way to do it right there i like to do it with the uh with the bending out the other way Now what we need to do is to uh, make this where you can attach it to your necklace. You could take sandpaper uh steel wool uh you might got you a, a dremel tool now you, you you can do that and you can really polish up as much as you like now you just put your little necklace cord through that maybe a chain something whatever that you prefer and you got your little elephant pendant looking thing doing like that and then while you're working on go ahead and do you a couple more and then you got your uh, gifts done look at this little one right here Get your little three time for like this. This little fork character that I may call the Benfolk. And he's playing a uh, key slash guitar. A key guitar looking thing like that. And uh, I probably need to make me a few more of these other things. Put the little pieces on him. Like that. Now he got a suit. He's a professional musician right now. Look at that. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I just wanted to show you a few different little things that you can make with some uh, plain silverware. And uh, that hopefully give you some ideas or some gifts and maybe some things that you might like to wear for your own self. And uh, as y'all can hear, the rain starting to come down. I'm about to take the camera outside and show y'all what the rain looks like. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Thank y'all for keep on watching. And y'all keep steady crafting.